Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Bayani here. Back on track. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a dishwasher. This is a, a dishwasher on a new construction, so we're just going to start from zero. And connect it and install it nice and easy. Let's keep working. Okay, let's open this guy up, see what is in here. Yeah, this is a Samsung stainless steel dishwasher. We just take this one out before I put it in, otherwise it would be hard to remove. Okay, good. We have the manual, so we put this aside, keep it for the future. We have uh, this is the drain pipe. Got it? Okay, there you go. We have loosened up. I had my water and an electrical connection right there. We should be good. Let's see how this guy looks. I just gotta remove this door because it gives me a better access. This package, it didn't come included with the dishwasher, so I just pick it up separated. 48 inch water supply, hose, and those connect two different kinds. Here's what we have. You can see here I come this piece that come together with it, but we're not gonna be using it. We have a strainer there, so this one I just gonna put it there. I'm gonna be needing it. So this one we had two of them. This one I'm not gonna be needing it. I just gonna use this one. So I just gonna put it right there. Not gonna tighten too much, but I'm just gonna tighten it a bit. That way I know tight enough just to make sure it's not leaking because this is going to be behind the wall and sometimes it's hard to check. The only way we know that is leak if the water starts just to come out and we see it. Because once we do this, we just push it right behind the wall, very much it. For this case here, whenever I'm tight this guy up, I just use two wrenches because I don't want to force the pipe right. You can see it, one to hold, another one to tighten up. Should be good enough. The third one I put away. Okay, we're gonna pop this guy on place. Before I do that, I need to make a hole somewhere in here. What I want to measure is just the base, because to make sure this pipe is gonna be right there. So what I measure here, we have five and a half inch. Here we have five and a half. I would have to cut this hole right on the bottom of the cabinet pretty much. Right in down the corner. We get a drill. Let me see what I have here. Not gonna go too crazy about it. Yeah, I could use a drill and a hole saw. Would be way faster, but I'm just gonna show you something. I have this small drill bits. I have bigger ones too, but I just want to show you. If you don't have the drill bit that you look for, something like that would do the job, all right? I have the drill, but I'm just gonna use this screw gun. All I do, I put the drill bit in there, I just fit it in, and it just work. Once I have that, I just can uh, very much knock it off with a hammer or use a hole saw. Let's see if I can do it with a hole saw. Oh, I'm just gonna take my me measurement to see if I have to dig a little bit more inside the base. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go a little bit deep inside the base, otherwise I would not have clearance for this pipe. Another tool that I could use here, I could use the sawzall, and I would cut this pretty easy too. Yeah, in just in count one now, I just make sure it is out, otherwise make a hole in my pipe. Okay guys, right now I'm just gonna move it close enough, that way I can connect the pipe. Not 
I should have enough space to connect the pipe and all that stuff. So here, I'm just gonna connect 48 inch of pipe, water supply. Here I'm just doing this. This is the water. The same way. I'm gonna figure out a way to, to hold this guy. Let me feel comfortable in here. At the same time, you guys could see with the camera. Again, I'm just holding it and tighten up. This one, you make sure that it is tight, that way prevent leakage. And one thing is, don't forget to turn on the water. Because otherwise, if you forget, once you're done here, you have to go back and uh, remove the dishwasher, open the water and connect it. Okay, so this one just gonna go right in there. We have plenty of space. This pipe is sometimes a little bit of a pain because once we put it there, we don't know how it's gonna be. And for the wire, the connection for the wire usually is on the front of the dishwasher. In this case, you see I have a space in here on the dishwasher itself to run the wire to the other side. Very much there. I'm just gonna push it back and see how it's gonna be. And I come in here, push some, make sure that my wire is going on the right spot. And I just want to do it once. See, once I have in there, I cannot see behind it. I'm just gonna push it in. See, some dishwasher you can, is open than it, you can see it. But not this one, it's, it's compacted. Yeah, so I bring it back and see if I can see what is uh, the issue is, probably the water supply. My cabinet guy just didn't put any nail and screw in there, so I, I gotta pull this guy out and put some screws to hold that on place. You see my guys doing the cabinet, they didn't put any screws on this side of this board. So I just gonna put a few screws there, try to hold it on place. Okay, that should do it. All right, that you see how it works and uh, life is great. Yeah guys, my board is secure and I'm gonna put this uh, dishwasher back. I had to play a little bit with the pipe. What I done in here, like you guys can see, I cap that pipe. I'm gonna install the water shut off right in here because it's make life easier to work with. So right now it just should be time just to push this dishwasher in and uh, we should be good to go. And then I show you guys install the water shut off. So this water shut off was there. I just remove it from there. I'm gonna put it right in here. Close enough anyway. Okay, let's push this guy back. It should work good. Okay, let's push this guy in. Let's make sure that the water is going in the right spot. Pull this guy a little bit. Everything looking good in there. I just don't want it to get tongued up, so make sure it is straight. So the water is right there. No, once you get to this point, you have those clips in there. Let me open this, I show you how. Okay, those clips have a hook in there. Just go right there, right there. And you see you have here, in case you don't need it so long, you just can break it. Oh, I'm just gonna push it in and see how it's gonna work. I wire in here. I check it before, looks like that is not going all the way in, but it's as, as far as it goes. I, I can feel it touch the wall over there. Some of them, they go a little bit more in. Another thing to look is the level, right? The level here looks very straight, right? Maybe I need to lift up this corner here a little bit. Let me see. This case here, I just gonna find where I have little feet in there. Just gonna twist it or other thing that I could use would be a screwdriver. I mean, get a screwdriver that would work too. Would be hard for you guys to see, but I have a place where I can put the screwdriver right there. Very much good. Now what we do, are the screws. Gonna put a couple of screws in there. I have the screws in here that came with the dishwasher. I'm gonna pick the short ones. That should keep it there nice and tight. I don't want this in here, which is not uh, very hard to break. I can just get a plier and uh, this part is done. I'm gonna connect the water and then I go for the electrical. I'm gonna show you guys. The hot water is 
off, so I'm just gonna get a container, put underneath, cut that pipe and connect it. Yeah, by the way, this light is not dangerous. Uh, I can leave it sticking around, nothing gonna happen. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use the water shut off that was there. I'm just gonna put one T and gonna connect it from here. I have this pipe cutter, but you don't need to have one of those. I'm just gonna try to do even with this small knife in here. This is just a pipe. Once I look in here, I'm gonna cut, just don't cut it too close. Just allow distance because you need to fit this one in. In this case here, I have uh, one a cold like red for the hot and white for the cold water. I'm gonna have a little bit leak of water in here, but that is okay. So I'm just gonna cut right there. This is the good thing, this is plywood cabinet, it's not MDF, so a little bit of water after we clean it up, not gonna make a lot of damage. We clean up dry, it would be good. Well, looks like that I have the water from the whole house coming here. Yeah guys, all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this guy, not I go slow, that way you guys can see. Like you don't need to buy pipe cutter. Any knife would do it. This is a baby knife. Just, uh, I'm just gonna straighten up my cut a little bit in here. Okay, that would do it. So here to be a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna connect this guy in here. Just like that. And then this one goes right there. Once I have, I'm just gonna move it back a bit and see, make sure it is square and it's gonna go bang. The reason that I'm doing here, that way I don't have to be bent too much in there. So I'm just gonna put it about one eight back, just fit it in. You guys can see, this is for three quarter pipe, so you're going with the half inch bang. Okay, so. I have two done right here. I didn't have to be underneath there and have better position to do it. Now we're just gonna put this guy in there. You might guy don't have a, a good position to see doing this stuff, but the process is the same, right? No, I'm just gonna connect my pipe. All good, so I'm gonna hold this one. That should do it, so now I'm gonna go and open the water. That way while I'm connect this part, I see if it's done and leak. Just let me open the hot water. Usually I just don't put the full pressure. Because sometimes uh, if you have a full pressure on the water, when washing the dishes too much is splashing. This is plenty of pressure to wash dishes. Here we're gonna install the drain pipe. We have here different size. In this case, we're gonna go for the five eight. So what we gotta do? I'm just gonna cut this part. We don't need this. No way, good. And I have this clamp that I just pick up in my toolbox. It's not included on the package, but you gotta put a clamp because the water could break. So I don't know if you guys can see. I have the connection for the drain right here. A good position that I can tighten up and I push all the way in. Here I could use the wrench or I could use the screwdriver. Uh, you see I have this bracket. Like I said, I just pick up this on my toolbox. Make sure everything is secure. Okay, I'm just gonna find another clip with some screws and I'm just gonna tuck this pipe right up there. Let me check what I have on the stock. Let me see. So I just found those clamp here that is for three quarter pipe. I'm just gonna use two of them that way because they are not the real right side. But for now, I'm just gonna put two. One on each side of the pipe, that way go nowhere. I'm just gonna find a place where I have access to screw it. I don't want it to be right here because that way give some more space to put this some stuff under the sink. See how this gonna work. That would hold it on place in there. This one should be okay, so I'm just gonna open the one in there. I don't see any leak. Oh no, okay, that part is done. So we have the drain connect, we have the water connected. Right inside here, bare access. No, I'm just gonna go for the electrical. This here would make a good place to be. And I'm just gonna check to see how this works in here. Yeah, we should be good to go on this way. So you see, I have a small screws in there. You guys can see this is the electrical box. Just make sure you have the power off, everything off. That's how you go, so. I'm just gonna remove this little screw and let's see what we deal with in there.
Now we have the ground wire and the regular stuff. Three wires in there, nothing too crazy. Because I don't want to cut the wire because in the future if you need to do something with the pipe, you just pull the dishwasher out. You don't have to disconnect the power or anything like that. Yeah, this works. I'm just gonna peel this guy off. Like I say, in this case in here, I'm sure I don't have power here yet. I gotta pick up a few brakes. Power is off, we should be good. Let's proceed. Here I just cut about half inch in there. Pop it in, okay. So we have three wires in there. Just gonna pop one of this right in here, that way the wire is protected. Try to do the wire first. This is just pressure fitted. You hear a click, you're good to go, all right? Have my wire in here. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna ground wire is already connected in there. You see there we have three wires. The black is the hot wire. Yeah, all we do, connect these guys together. Make sure they are tight enough, okay? Make sure they are secure in there. And then you have the white wire. Nothing too crazy. The green goes with the ground, right? I just put a little bit longer like that because I want to make sure that you want to go all the way down. No, I'm just gonna push these guys in. There I go. This is the neutral. Usually I just put the neutral there together close to the ground and I put the hot wire on the other side that way in case something they never gonna touch and this one here i just gonna just stack it in it's all in there the way it stay there see this cover you have few little clip there to hold it on place nothing too crazy okay electrical is connected you see there you have a big gap on this guy so in case you your cabinet is a little bit too high or you need to put the machine a bit too higher so you have about inch and a half to play with put it there find the hole and put there tuck it in okay this one is done clean all this stuff out once you install a new dishwasher you just gotta remove all this paper everything that is inside so i remove all the packing product from there this one is good to go we just have to test it to see again i would go back in here visually check to see if there's any leak anything everything looks good so in this case here i guess i can put my little plumbing tools away for a bit if you want to see more great video please subscribe we have great stuff coming up keep watch and we keep loading thank you very much for watching guys thank you for your support and i love you guys see you soon